today is January the 8th, 1-8, and our title is Puff Cloud O. Puff Cloud O. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our books opened up here. Please don't forget, if you're out of room, when you start, you need to divide your paper both vertically and horizontally, so basically like a giant plus in the middle of your paper, so that you have four sections to work in. Okay, so we're going to start up here. Don't forget to put the date, 1 8, and let's get started. We're going to start with a simple box. Okay, no biggie, doesn't have to be perfect, just a light, simple box. Now we're basically going to cut the O out of it. And how we're going to do that is we're going to come along the side and we're gonna, just going to cut the corners off. We're going to round them off and pretend like we're just trimming those off. Okay, so we've gotten that. Let's make the inside of the circle. Try to keep it as even as possible. And we're going to want to make it light as well. Okay, you don't want it too dark because we're going to wind up covering over this in just a second. Go ahead and erase what you don't need. And I'm actually going to erase some of my O as well because I don't really need to see it completely to do this next part. Okay, so I'm just going to lighten it a lot here just so I have the barest little shadow of it showing through. Okay, so right now you can see that it's still there, but it's just very, very light, so I'm going to cover over it. So I'm going to start with the inside, and I'm just going to make some bumpy lines going along the inside. Some can be large, some can be small, okay? And you're just going all the way around the inside of your O, okay? Just like that. All right, now we're going to do the outside, same thing. Just follow that line, that little shade of a line that you had. And go all the way around. Okay, so I've gotten all of this taken care of. I'm going back and I'm going to erase what I don't need. So just very lightly with my eraser, I'm just, you know, going in there and pulling some of that out. Okay, let's add some shading and we'll be done. So we're going to shade in two places. We're going to start along the left side of this O. So I'm going to turn my pencil on its side like this, and I'm going to move it in a circular motion. Okay, I'm going to start out dark, and as I move over, I'm going to lighten it up. So I'm making one pass down the left side first. Okay, and we've done this many times, but it's give you a little refresher. So keep going. If you got to turn your pencil a little bit, that's fine. There we go. Okay, so I've got that. Now I'm going to make another pass just a little bit lighter. So to make it lighter, you just apply less pressure to your pencil. And I'm blending it back into the darker area. Okay, so it's like coming from dark to light. It's blending. Okay. So we've got the entire left side, so what we need next is to do right along here on the right side. So I'm going to start dark up against the side here, and I'm just going to do a small space, and then lighten it up as you move to the right, like this, okay? And there you have it. There is your Puff Cloud O. So I'd like you to make one of these today. Please make sure you erase any lines or marks that you don't need. Watch your proportion. Make sure things are sized properly. You don't want one really skinny side of the O and one really fat side. Try to keep it an even ring. Don't forget to add your t shading. You want to use a texture by turning your pencil on its side and creating a circular motion to give it that smoky or that cloud type texture along the left side and also right through here on the right side. 